one present at the Obama victory speech is likely to forget it, but the guy Oprah Winfrey was leaning on really won't forget it. You know when you're on a plane or a train or somewhere and some stranger falls asleep on your shoulder? Well, that's kind of what happened to the mystery man. He became Oprah's hanky. When there was despair in the Dust Bowl and depression across the land, she saw a nation conquer fear itself with a Now, new lots deal. of TV personalities <laughs> cried over Obama's victory. To look at my son and say, no limitations. From Sherry Shepard on The View to political pundits. Uh, this is, uh, you know, I don't care how you feel about him politically. My mother's people. Oh, jeez. Take your time. Even funny man Stephen Colbert seemed to wipe away a tear or two, but Oprah really let go on a stranger. I don't know who this guy is. I'm, you know, friends call me around the country and say, who, who is with you? I go, I don't know him. Neither did Jesse Jackson, but at least Jesse cried from a distance, not Oprah. At one point, I was just sobbing on the shoulder, mascara everywhere. Anyway, thank you, Mr. Man, for letting me cry on your shoulder. So naturally, everybody started asking, who was Oprah leaning on? One person posted, I'd send that phony, meaning Oprah, a bill for my dry cleaning. Others called it touching. And then we spied these five words. His name is Sam Perry. End of mystery. <laughs> Sam Perry is an investor and was communications director at Silicon Valley for Obama, though he wouldn't communicate with us when we left messages. He's donated thousands of dollars to Obama and other Democrats. No wonder he got primo position along with Oprah. Who had actually purchased this white man to lean on during the speech. For at least one night, Sam the Hanky belonged to Oprah. CNN, New York.